We have finally made it! But we have a problem. And somebody gonna be mad. So we are back with another video. We are back with another food review video. So today we got finally on the road and we're on the way to Sunday's Eatery. So if you guys have not heard, Sunday's Eatery is Trick Daddy Dog restaurant in Miami, Florida, and we're on the way to get some of that now. I can definitely go for some soul food right now. So I am super, super excited to be trying this restaurant. It is completely clear on this side of the street. All right, y'all, we have finally made it! But we have a problem. The line is long. Like, long, long. I'll show you guys the line when I go get in it, but right now we're parking and we're going to get this food today. Look, everybody got this food. They walking out all happy. I want that to be me. <laughs> so, ooh, it's tight back here too. All right, y'all, so we're gonna park and I'll show you guys what it looks like. YouTube, it's Gabby at Diamond Girl. Okay. So. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys why I was in the hair store and what was going on with that. So, Sunday's Eatery is right next to the Beauty Supply Store. So, I guess they have a deal where if you buy something from Sunday Eateries, you get 10% off in the Beauty Supply Store. And if you guys didn't know, the Beauty Supply Store is my guilty pleasure. I love to go in different ones and just see what they have differently. So, of course, I took them up on that offer and I went and I bought a few things, random knickknacks out of that store, and I did get my 10% off. So, that's why I was in the Beauty Supply Store. <laughs> hey, y'all. So, I got in line at 5, 4.05. I'll let you guys know what time I make it in.
you already know it's almost what five o'clock everything will be gone soon yep 4 23. hello um i'm gonna do a fried chicken Does, is it a meal or you can make it a meal from the rice and two sides okay yes can i do that Time check. We have been in line for 25 minutes, but we have placed our order, so we're on our way. It is 4:47. We are making progress. We're in the second line. I've already placed my order. I'm just waiting to get inside. I'm getting a little hot. I haven't been in the heat, swatting and fanning for a while now. Y'all know I got a little too city. I had to bring myself back down to the country, so I am chilling waiting to get my food it's hot y'all look how long the line has gotten since we've been back there we were all the way back there about an hour ago uh oh somebody in the family shirt back there <laughs> we was right there where the guy in the family shirt is we are right here so far we got to go we at the door we got about five people in front of us all smoked getting a little hot I'm not losing it yet though, but I'm getting a little hot. And we are about to eat. All right, Tell the camera bye. bye. <laughs> we neg, we neg, we neg, we neg, we neg. Oh, they run four wheelers. <laughs> Y'all. Okay, TJ. No, we're 350. We're 340. I did say that. I knew it couldn't be. Y'all there, y'all. Thank you. Hey, look at our special guest. Special guest, Grand Poopa. <laughs> He's here. <laughs> all right y'all so we're finally in the car and it is time for you know what taste testing time um mom was very innovative but she told me to bring this board because she knew we was gonna have to eat in the car so i have a board to eat on and then i have the goods so it took us about an hour and a half to get our food there was a really long line but I'm very forgiving in that area because we have to take into consideration social distancing and this is his first restaurant. You can't get it all right the first time. So we're not going to take any points off for that. Let's open it up. All right. We have one plate. We have the second plate. And then... We have some cupcakes. Oh, we got a third plate. What's that? We got some type of sauce in here. Ribs. Ribs. Who ordered ribs? Oh, oh, fried ribs. And candy gaps. I thought we got a bonus plate. So we got that. Pork chop. What did I order? <laughs> Fried chicken. Did I order other uh, ribs? I can't remember. Dang. Right. I don't think these are our plates. <laughs> I don't think this is our meal. This ain't somebody gonna be mad. Okay, so this might have been a bit confusing, but what was happening here was that I got the wrong order. However, I was not upset because one of my favorite things from this meal was the fried ribs. And also, I don't know what I was doing when I was looking at my order, but clearly I wasn't checking to make sure that it was, this was my food. So yes, I got the wrong order, but I wasn't mad about it. But this is everything I ordered though. 
No, I ordered fish, but I got pork chops instead. The blue lemonade. That's what I got to drink. Y'all know I've been trying to slack off on the sodas. So I got a blue lemonade. Mm. Uh oh. That's good. I like that. I like that, man. Wait. It's something different in here, but I don't know what. But that's really, 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 really good. So, I'm going to start with the fried ribs. That's what it looks like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all. Now this stuff is seasoned and fresh. Dropping crumbs everywhere. <laughs> so first thing I taste it was the lemonade. 9.5 out of 10. Really, really, really good. Second thing I tasted was the fried rib. 9.5 out of 10. The, set, the third thing I want to taste is the mac and cheese. It's good. It can't compare to... My grandma's famous recipe, but I can definitely say it's homemade and it's really, really, really good. What should I try next? I should try some yams. Yams isn't my favorite thing, but I'll try it for you guys. A little piece. They're good. And they're sweet. I know there's one thing about yams. If they're not sweet, I can't do it. It's a no for me. Mm, that's actually really good. I would actually eat all of those. And then, as my grandma would say, you have to, every meal you eat, you must have a green vegetables. So, I got me some green beans. Uh-oh. They got the ham hock in there. Mmm. y'all all right y'all quick intermission we ran out of memory on my memory card but i left off on the green beans the green beans were pretty good and let's move on to the corn they do sweet corn that's how i like my corn It has a little kick to it. I think they put a lot of black pepper in it. But it is very good. You can tell that it's fresh too. And we only have two more things to try. I got some fried chicken. Try to save this for last. Because you know, fried chicken is a make or break for a restaurant. <laughs> yeah, we... <laughs> so here it is it's nicely fried see it all right Ooh. okay the fried chicken is 
it's good but it's not better than the fried ribs i prefer the fried ribs over the fried chicken so overall oh i got a whole nother plate yeah i forgot the last thing i have to share try for you guys is pork chops see it yeah it's fried to perfection Let's try this little piece right here oh oh that's good and the last thing that i have to try for you guys is the blue velvet cupcakes Ooh. try a little piece you know you can't take that lowry's in there and all that. <laughs> they put something in huh? mm hmm hmm it's pretty good i didn't want to take it so so for customer service, I would give them a 9.5 out of 10, almost a 10 out of 10, because like I told you guys, you guys have already seen it, but I wasn't able to go inside. So we couldn't go inside, but they were so kind to bring the sign out to us. Because of CDC guidelines, they are practicing social distancing and they brought the sign outside. We're not close to anyone, so we're able to get this done. But they brought the sign outside so I can take pictures. And take videos of everything I needed. So customer service is a 9.5 out of 10. So thank you guys for that. Portion size, they get a 10 out of 10 because this is a lot of food, especially for what we paid. I think we only paid about $44 for this food. And we have four sides and three meats rice drinks and dessert so and that this can feed at least three people comfortably so i think that's really really good and i would give overall taste of the restaurant i would give it a nine out of ten because it does taste like southern soul cooked food they can't touch my grandma's mac and cheese but they did try so they do get some points for that and i really like the fried ribs i don't usually eat fried ribs but i would come back again just to have the fried ribs so i said all that to say that i think this was a successful successful trip it was worth all the hassle it was worth all the lines and i'm glad that i can be you guys guinea pig and going to try it so that's going to be the end of this video make sure you turn on your notification bells so you can be alerted every time i post make sure you like make sure you comment and make sure you smash 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 the subscribe button and i'll see you guys in another video bye